Hello, Virgo. This is going to be your fall harvest tarot and oracle reading if it's meant for you. It's, oh, it's meant for you. The cards are jumping. This video is intended for all Virgo's sun, moon, risings, and Venus signs. So please check out my other videos for your other astrological placements. Let's take a look at what's at the center of your energy during this fall harvest season. And we have love. Oh my. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo. I am a Virgo myself, so I am very intrigued by this reading. Let's see what else we need to know here. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Well, in typical Virgo fashion, you might be overthinking. So be very careful with the illusion of mental entrapment. Don't overthink a connection. Um, everything will unfold exactly the way that it's supposed to. Um, the Empress, interesting. That is Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress is about birthing a whole new cycle. We've just entered Libra season. I mean, this is going to be a time of relationships. Nine of Swords, worry and anxiety. Oh my gosh, look how it surrounds the Empress, which is birthing that whole new cycle and the love. All right, let's see what else we need to know. Six of Cups, past life connection. Could be nostalgia, inner childhood wounds, even a wish coming true. We'll see how that plays out in the reading. And the Fool. Oh boy, I love it. Trusting and taking a leap of faith. Okay, let's see what else you need to know. The Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. Okay, spiritual ascension, commitment. And we have, oh boy, we have the lovers. So we're really getting some strong lovey vibes here. Okay, deep soul connections, decision and love. And the Queen of Pentacles, stability. I mean, that's very much Virgo energy as well. But I mean, it could be Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But um, in general, it's stability, right? I mean, it's interesting that we're seeing one, two, three, four major arcana here. So this is this is like major themes in your in your life this month, or I should say in this season. Pardon me. Okay, so the love card here, we have judgment. You're gonna have a decision in love. Number 11 here could be a sign for you. This is a wake-up call or news coming in. The Eight of Swords. You're going to get the enlightenment. You're just in the illusion of mental entrapment. You're a little bit stuck. You're in a bit of neither nor. But you are going to get that clarity. And the Empress. Wow, the lovers again. The universe is like I said what I said. Um, wow. Deep soul connection. Nine of Swords, worry and anxiety. Well, there's the hermit energy, the Virgo energy. Wow. <laughs> We're getting a lot of Virgo energy here. Um, searching your soul. Listen, you can visit your headspace. You can't live there. Okay. And um, Six of Cups. Wow, we've got a deep, deep, uncommon bond here. Deep connection. This also talks about manifesting deepest desires and asking you if you're all in for what you love. It's basically a wish coming true here. It could very well be a past life connection. The fool, trusting and taking a leap of faith, you're going to do different. You're not going to do the same old, same old. And the Hierophant, well, there's some fireworks there. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, a lot of earth energy in this reading. You know, passion, chemistry, lust, exhilaration, explosive, hot. Mm. Well, on TikTok and uh, Instagram, I can't read the full card, but I mean, explosive, hot sex doesn't sound bad. So let's see what else we need to know. The lovers, we have... Uh, Jeez, we got some real spicy energy here. Uh, breaking free, strong emotions, uh, very strong uh, sexual energy. Unleashing the inner beast in love. Okay, what else do we need to know? The Queen of Pentacles, so that's stability. The Moose, calm, cool, and collected. Everything's going to work out exactly the way that it's supposed to. Okay, so let's get some Power of Surrender cards here just to see what you need to surrender or surrender to. And we have Surrender Your Addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Oh, it feels like you might have an addiction to another person and vice versa. Um, and with that, we have surrender and healthy relationships. Well, okay. If it's something that's unhealthy, then obviously don't engage in it. But um, let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Absolutely, Virgo. 
Okay, well, thank you so much for listening to my reading. If you would like your own Fall Harvest Tarot and Oracle reading, the link is in my bio, it's on my website. And of course, as always, I would really greatly appreciate a like, comment, share, or subscribe. Thank you very much, and I wish you the most amazing Fall Harvest.